I have chosen this uh, regulation of gene expression. This is one of the, my most favorite uh, topic to teach. At the same time, a very hot spot topic for the class 12th students to understand, to score in uh, board examination as well. And it is, uh, certainly it is more practical based, so uh, it attracts me a lot. So uh, I want to just take a, some five minutes or six minutes class for demonstration purposes. So to start with the regulation of gene expression, it has been taken from the chapter number six, topic number eight. And before I start the regulation part, let me discuss what is gene and then its regulation part. So the gene as a basic and the functional unit of heredity and it is made up of the DNA. So all we know that the gene has like capability to co contain some information from the one generation to the another generation and it is uh, made up of DNA. <coughs> In higher discussions, we will come to know that a specific segment of DNA which is confined for the production of or the synthesis of uh, mRNA, tRNA, ribosomal RNA and at the same time through the mRNA, they code for the amino acid sequences as in a polypeptide chain which is ultimately going to work as a protein. To give the instructions to make the proteins, this is the function of gene and some of the genes code for RNA, tRNA, snRNA and so on. So in the previous statement it was said that they give instructions, they give, they give instructions for the synthesis of protein. It does not mean that the genes are only responsible for the synthesis of protein. They also synthesize some other molecules like RNA, like snRNA, ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA and they are still considered as a gene. And through the evolution from the microscopic to the higher organisms, their size may vary from the few hundreds to the few billion base pairs. I forgot to mention base pairs. So, importance of gene is that their expression into a mRNA or ribosomal RNA or ultimately in the protein is certainly going to be uh, control or regulate the behavior of a cell metabolically and physiologically. But at the same time, when their expressions are not required, they are, they are needed to be switched off. So the function of genes are needed to be switched on or switched off. That is why the regulation part comes. The regulation of gene is a very careful, it is very carefully regulated at the several levels. So there are more techniques or levels through which uh, the genes are regulated and the basic four levels are, it is completely depending upon the type of cells they are under the regulation. Depending upon them, <coughs> all three regulations are applied over there. The transcriptional level that is uh, I transcript, initiation, initial transcript is there that is primarily yeah, the mRNA has been synthesized whether it is going to synthesize or not initiation will take place of the synthesis of RNA or not. This is pre-transcriptional yeah, transcriptional level whether the RNA is going to synthesize or not. Once the RNA has been synthesized, it is a splicing. The removal of introns and addition of exons, the part which is only responsible for the protein synthesis is R exons. So this removal of introns, non-coding sequences, they need to be taken out of uh, context, they need to be taken out of context. So the transcriptional level, processing level and then uh, transport of the mRNA. In the eukaryote, it is a characteristic feature that the uh, the 5 prime end of the mRNA has to be modified to the 7 methyl guanosine which is called capping part and the 3 prime it is the poly polyadenylation. So this helps the mRNA to come out of the nucleus but it is only confined to the eukaryotic cells as prokaryotic cells do not contain any kind of nucleus or nuclear membrane. So their uh, synthesized mRNA remain in the cytoplasm where the protein synthesis is going to take place. So this kind of modification does not take place in prokaryotic cells. At the translational level, whether the translation will start on the protein synthesis or not. So ultimately from right from the, <coughs> sorry, right from the synthesis of mRNA to the protein, they are totally recognized and totally regulated at four different stages. So now what does expression mean? Let me explain what does expression mean. Now the gene they need to synthesize mRNA or a set of other RNAs which as I have discussed already and ultimately the protein. So all the genes whether they are synthesizing the set of RNA it is also called expression and through the mRNA if they are expressing into getting expressed into the protein it is also called expression. For example if I saw that 
कि इन वन ऑफ द बैक्टीरिया दैट इज इकोलाई बीटा गैलेक्टोसाइडेज इज वन ऑफ द वेरी की इंजाइम विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द मेटाबोलिज्म ऑफ लैक्टोज एंड इट ब्रेक्स द डाई सेक्राइड लैक्टोज इन टू अर टू मोनोसेक्राइड दैट इज ग्लूकोज एंड गैलेक्टोज दे आर द सिक्स कार्बन मॉलिक्यूल्स विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन द बीटा गैलेक्टोसाइडेज इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल और रिक्वायर्ड बाई द बैक्टीरियल सेल्स टू ब्रेक दिस डाई सेक्राइड्स इन टू टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ मोनोसेक्राइड्स so in the absence of lactose when lactose is available then it is okay that the beta galactosidase has to be synthesized through the gene expression and the lactose will be broken down into two monomers but when the lactose is not available what is the use of these enzymes they are useless and again expression of gene requires the energy so somehow somewhere if the lactose is not there the beta galactosidase synthesis will ultimately divide the cells out of energy so in the absence of lactose the cell does not required beta galactosidase so these genes stops its expression or they are needed to stop its expression so it is metabolite or the physiological or environmental conditions that regulate the gene expression through here we can understand the metabolite is available lactose or not physiological growth like the embryo is developing under the into a complete individual <coughs> adult individual sorry so this is also controlling the expression of growth factors not getting expressed the growth factor some are, at some part the cell division has to be very fast at some part the cell division has to be regulated environmental condition these all are going to regulate the gene expression so in prokaryotes the control or and regulation is limited to the transcriptional initiation so in today's class we are only about to discuss the transcriptional level gene regulation that is the initiation whether it is take going to take uh, the genes to initiate the synthesis of mrna or not remaining four will be discussed in the coming classes or if uh, if i take the class then for the transcription the mrna rna polymerase ha is the key enzyme for the process of transcription the <coughs> addition of ribonucleoside triphosphate for the polymerization to synthesize rna rna polymerase is the key enzyme you will come to know that ki there are some common rna polymerase there is only one type of rna polymerase in all prokaryotes for the synthesis of all rna there are different types of rna polymerases rna polymerase 1 2 and 3 in the eukaryotes for different types of rna to be synthesized that that will be discussed like uh, they interact with the gene through the promoter so there is a specific site on the uh, on the dna i have i have drawn a structure in a later uh, slides so there is a specific site on the dna site on the dna through which the rna polymerase interacts with the dna or the gene which is called promoter sequences so these are the specific sequences on the gene with the specific set of proteins <coughs> with the specific set of proteins so uh, rna polymerase has a very low efficiency to bind with the promoter sequences so they need some specific types of other proteins which will help this rna polymerase to come and bind with the promoter sequences and they are called regulatory sequences and regulation just like the fan in your room you regulate in a negative or a positive way to control the fan speed that is same way the regulatory protein is going to regulate your expression of the gene whether it is negative or in a positive which is called regulations so they bind to the operator region promoter region this is the site of gene this is the start site and this is the promoter region which is before the gene where the rna polymerase has to bind operator region situ is situated nearby the promoter region which regulates the expression whether it is positively regulating it means the binding of rna polymerase is more firmly with the genes negatively regulating that is repression which is where which is not allowing the rna polymerase to bind with it so stopping the gene expression so these regulatory proteins binds to the operator sequence that is adjacent to the promoter that is adjacent to the promoter and this is where i have drawn a very basic structure of an operon the site of this is the plus one site from where the synthesis of mrna has to take place this is the structural gene through which <coughs> through which the nucleotides will be added in a complementary way so that the mrna is synthesized before that there is a specific sequence which is called which is acting as a promoter through which the rna polymerase is going to bind with it and before that or in between promoter and plus one site is the operator region sometimes you will find that the operator region lies within the promoter region 
so it is a kind of chair it is a just a kind of chair promoter reason if operator comes and bind with it it will not allow the rna polymerase to come and sit at the promoter region so promoter operator region can uh, uh, be situated just adjacent to the promoter region or sometimes even within the promoter region it is a higher education discussion if uh, necessarily required i will discuss it this combination of operator promoter and structural gene it is called opera to better understand this we need to understand we need to study one of the topics which is called operon system now the first it was demonstrated by jacob and monad and it is transcriptionally regulated system so jacob and monad first described that ki it is a transcriptionally regulated system and through which the expression of gene is studied over a, uh, over the uh, expression whether it is taking for the synthesis of those proteins which are required for the lactose utilization so the genes for the enzyme of lactose metabolism is polycystronic what does polycystronic means that there is a combination of genes they do have a common promoter so there is a general concept that it is one promoter and one gene one promoter is only responsible for the one gene it is monocystronic and it is a characteristic feature of mostly in the eukaryotic cell but in the prokaryotic cell the structure or size of gene is very small so all the combination it might <coughs> it might be possible that a set of combination of these genes have a very common promoter through which they are getting regulated so the multiple genes regulated by a single promoter and that is i transcript initial transcript or primary trans not i transcript it is the primary transcript and more than one peptides are synthesized through those mrnas now lacopron before starting the lacopron we must need to understand what are the different type of genes which is responsible uh, in its regulation and they are getting synthesized first of all we need to understand the i gene which is regulatory genes and it is producing the repressor which is kind of inhibitor it will bind to the operator and it will not allow the lacopron to work so first gene is i gene producing the repressor which is a uh, inhibitor binding to the gene and it is not allowing the uh, lacopron to function there are three structural genes from the plus one side if you will remember from the previous slide it is from the plus one side there are three structural genes lac z gene which is responsible for <coughs> resp responsible for beta galactosidase one of the enzymes which is responsible for breakdown or hydrolysis of lactose this is if i mention that it is hydrolysis it is hydrolysis of lactose into glucose and galactose lac y gene which enables the synthesis of permeates which is allowing the increase or permeability and increase the entry of lactose inside the cell and beta galactosidase and lactose uh, transport across the membrane and lac a gene which is trans acetylase it helps in the transfer of acetyl group during the metabolism of lactose some of the molecules might be synthesized in the cells which is not good for it so trans acetylation is just making the uh, residual micro uh, micromolecules to go out of the cells and do not allow does not allow it does not allow to reentry the those molecules into the cells again this is a higher level of discussions let me discuss this diagram which will make you understand how the lac operon works so in the absence of in the absence of lactose these repressor proteins these repressor proteins they come and bind to the repressor they come and bind to the repressor do not uh, go for this lactose i gene is producing the repressor and it is going to bind with the operator which is just by behind uh, or in between the promoter region and the plus one site or the first gene and it is if the rna polymerase come and bind at this site this is not allowing the rna polymerase to jump and reach to the plus one site for the synthesis of first proteins so the repressor mrna repressor mrna is synthesizing this uh, repressor proteins but the lactose works as an inducer in the presence of lactose this this goes to lactose goes to uh, bind with the repressor proteins and making it inactive to bind with the operator region so when lactose is not present condition 1 is there <coughs> <coughs> let me have a right when lactose is not there the repressor proteins are free and they are they are free from they are free from the uh, inducers and when lactose is not there l negative sorry l negative 
रिप्रेसर प्रोटीन्स आर फ्री टू बाइंड विद द ऑपरेटर रीजन एंड इट विल नॉट अलाउ द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ लैक ऑफ रॉन्ग बट विन लैक्टोज इज एवेलेबल दीज जीन्स आर नीडेड टू बी एक्सप्रेस सो दैट द लैक्टोज यूटिलाइजेशन और मेटाबोलिज्म कैन टेक प्लेस तो लैक्टोज इज वर्क एज एन इंड्यूसर विच इनएक्टिवेट्स द रिप्रेसर एंड डज नॉट अलाउ द रिप्रेसर टू बाइंड विद द ऑपरेटर वंस द ऑपरेटर इज फ्री फ्रॉम योर रिप्रेसर प्रोटीन्स आर एन ए पॉलिमरेज इजली कम एंड बाइंड विद द प्रोमोटर सिक्वेंसेज एंड दे विल कंटिन्यू सिंथिसाइजिंग द लैक एम आर एन ए पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक लेक एम आर एन ए थ्रू विच ऑल थ्री जीन्स आर ट्रांसलेटेड टू प्रोड्यूस द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एंजाइम्स सो दिस वॉज द बेसिक डिस्कशन रिलेटेड विद द जीन एक्सप्रेशन इफ देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम और द डिस्कशन यू वॉन्ट मी टू आस्क आई एम फ्री टू आस्क एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच